Perhaps you'll have to pay the toll. Heidi discovered that Peter was bullied by Carl and his mom. Give us your money. We won't hurt you. Who also tried to attack her. Peter. To protect her, Peter challenged Carl into climbing a cliff. You to climb Jackdaw's cliff. When the boys ended up stuck on the cliff face, Heidi got Grandfather to help and save them. Rope around your waist. For the first time, Grandfather warmed to Heidi's sunny smile. Good night, Grandfather. Good night, Heidi. What is this all about? Joseph saved this bird from a jackdaw. It's wounded, but I'm going to help it get better. Hmm. It's no use, Heidi. It's too badly wounded. Leave it and come and get your breakfast. Don't worry. I'll take good care of you. <gasps> I told you to leave that bird out there. You can't help it. But I, I know I can save it, Grandfather. I know it. You're wasting your time, Heidi. Well, I'll ask Peter for help. He'll know what to do. Mm, suit yourself. I'll get dressed and get the goats ready. Peter should be here soon. It's Sunday, Heidi. Peter doesn't herd the goats on Sunday. He's at home, like everyone else. Well, I'll go to his place then. <sighs> on the right. So, let's go to the left. mountain goat, but it's Heidi. Mm -hmm. Oh my! You look exactly like your mother. And those eyes. It's all Tobias, your father. Huh? You knew my parents? They were good people. Um, is Peter here? He's gone for the day. Every Sunday he disappears and only comes back at sunset. Um, you don't know where I could find him? No, I'm sorry, Heidi. Mm. Is it for your bird? Yes. 
It's wounded, and I thought Peter could help me. <laughs> Come with me. Hmm? I think I know someone who can help. Who's there? <gasps> it's me, Mother. It's your favorite. <sighs> there, Mother. Mm. But it was not this bread roll knocking at the door like a woodpecker earlier, was it? <laughs> no, that was Heidi, Mother. Oh, Heidi. Peter's told us so much about you. Oh, well, come here, my darling. Uh, uh, are you... Always hungry for a fresh bread roll? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, hair as soft as the softest wool. Shoulders as agile as a squirrel. Arms long and chiseled like a doe's leg. Oh, and mama cheeks on which roll too many tears. Why so sad? It's my bird, ma'am. It's wounded and I don't think it'll make it. Don't say things bigger than you, will you? And call me grandmother. Hello, little one. What happened to you? Hmm? What is it? Is it serious? Its heart beats very slowly. It's in shock, and that's not a good sign. So, Grandfather was right then? You can't give up before you tried everything. And I might have something that could help. It's a herb. So, we're going to save it? We will try, Heidi. Smell this. <laughs> it's absinthe. The herb I need is called Artemisia and smells exactly like that. Will you remember that smell? Yes, Grandmother. Peter knows where you can find some. Just ask him. But no one knows where Peter is. <coughs> Joseph! <coughs> Joseph! How did you find me here? His sense of smell. He could find a mouse under two meters of snow, you know. So, he could find Peter if he smelled him. And I have exactly what you need to lead Joseph to him. <gasps> so, how is everything going with Uncle? Is he still the grumpy kind? He can be. <laughs> Give me your bird. I'll take care of him while you get Peter. And the Artemisia. There. Joseph should be able to find Peter with this. Yuck. Thank you. Come on, Joseph. Find Peter for me. Find him. That's it, Joseph. Good dog. You'll have a big bone tonight. <laughs> Carl won't be happy. We'll never find Peter's secret place. If we took the path on the right, I'm sure that we use. Yeah. We might get lucky after all. I'm going to follow this little goat. <laughs> Her? But why? She's probably on her way to meet Peter, you squirrel head. Oh. <laughs> Can I come too? Shh. Do you think he's far? I hate dogs. What is it? That's just a squirrel, Joseph. Come on, we need to find Peter. I need to get back to the bird. I hope the little bird is strong enough to hold on until he returns. Take you, you'll get us caught again. Go back to the village. <laughs> Joseph, wait! Did you hear that? That must be Peter! 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 Huh? Oh no. Peter? Are you there? Peter! Peter! Shh! Huh? Heidi! Peter, you're here! What's all that noise about? I need 
need your help to find Artemisia. It's for my bird. It's wounded, and your grandmother what? said... What bird? Artemisia? And, and how did you find me? Thanks to this. Your mother gave it to me. It smells pretty bad. <laughs> it doesn't smell at all. I found a wounded bird, and I need your help to find some Artemisia to save him. Your grandmother says you know where to find some. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Joseph, what's going on? He did that before. It must be another squirrel. <gasps> oh, no! No! Teresa followed you! <gasps> she can't be around here. This is my territory. Do you understand? She could tell Carl and William, and then I'd never forgive you. Don't say things bigger than you, will you? Hmm? Come on, Joseph. Where are you going? To scare Teresa away. <gasps> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Good dog. Good doggy. <laughs> Who do you think you are? The king of the mountain? That's enough. Let me pass, all right? <laughs> You're a good dog. Peter will be proud of us. <laughs> Great. She deserved it. Maybe now she'll mind her own business. <laughs> so, will you take me to the Artemisia? Hmm. Look, uh, can you wait here for ten minutes? I... I left all my things over there. I need to get them. But I can't wait. My bird was already so frail when I left him. <sighs> Listen, it's quite easy to find. And if you stick to the path, it's not dangerous at all. There. These are the woods, and that's the path we're on. You take it to the river, and you follow the river until you find the Devil's Bridge. There you take a left, and you walk up the path until you reach Two Rocks Meadow. Go on straight ahead until you reach the Big Divide. The safest path is on your left. Go down to the meadow and on the right-hand side you will find some Artemisia. Don't worry, Joseph. I'll be extra careful. But it will be faster this way. to eat. I don't think it's doing so well. You need to hold on some more, little one. I'm sure Heidi will be back soon. Oh, oh no! Oh. Come on, Heidi. Your bird needs you. You can get out of here. <laughs> Oh. Huh? Joseph! Where's Heidi? Whoa! Whoa! What's wrong? Is Heidi in danger? Come on! Let's go and find her! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Joseph? Joseph? Help! I'm stuck down here! Help! Heidi! Help! I'm here! I'm coming! <laughs> Are you okay? I'm stuck and I can't come back up. I'm coming. Can you?
you climb a bit? Maybe. Oh. Come on, it's going to be okay. Just reach my hand. Oh. Oh. Now hold on, I'll haul you up. Peter, I was so scared. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. It's nothing, really. But next time, when I tell you to stay on the path, you better do as I say. Sorry, Peter. But first we need to get the Artemisia. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Peter, huh? it's here! I found it! Great! Quick, Peter, now we have to go back to your house. We'll take a shortcut. I'm sure Heidi will be back soon, Mother. Stay with us, little bird. Stay with us. Come on, it's right after this hill. Stay with us, little bird. Stay with us. Brigitte, the bird doesn't move at all. Oh. Bridget, give me some hot water, please. Oh. Yes, Mother. So, it's not too late? It's never too late, Heidi, when you really believe. <laughs> Children, get ready to feed our little friend. Eternal night has fallen on my eyes. So, you'll never see the mountains again? Or flowers, or the sun? Then I'll be your eyes, and I'll tell you everything I see in the mountains. <laughs> that would make me very happy, Heidi. And in the meantime, you'll give the potion to your goldfinch every day for a week. And don't forget, you should build it a nest for it to rest in. Oh, yes. I have to go. Grandfather might wonder where I am. Well, thank you again. Heidi! What? You won't say anything about... you know. No, I won't. See you tomorrow, Peter. See you tomorrow, Heidi. We saved it! Hmm. Grandmother and Peter helped me. Heidi, that's... <gasps> now that it's had dinner, it's your turn. Father, I need to... Dinner, no talk. 
<laughs> now that you have a nest, you should have a name. Chippy! That's it, Chippy! Grandfather, why would Peter keep a secret from me? A secret? Well, it's normal people keep secrets. Not when they're friends, and I'm Peter's friend. Peter needs a bit more time, that's all. Just like you and the Devil's Bridge, then. Good night, Heidi. Good night, Grandfather. Good night, Chippy. <laughs>